Hi there and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch and today I'm going to show you how to add authentication to a raw Moodle site such as this one completely free on Moo DIY. So first thing I'm going to do is get an account which I have. So I'll just go into go to client portal. Wait a few seconds and these are mine. Going to go into one of these there we go and show you how to do this. So first thing I do is go into site administration. Next I'm going to go into plugins. Scroll down it's by alphabetical order until I get to authentication. Next I'm going to go to manage and see what's here. And I notice there's manual accounts. That's fine. I know that. Next, I know that email self-registration is showing. Then I'm going to go down until I get to guest. Now I'm going to enable guest for one. Okay, so people can log in and view things. And then I will simply save changes. So everything should be working and everyone should be able to log in, right? Let me check to make sure. Let's go into settings and see what's here. Enable password, expiry, all right. Notification threshold before password expires. That's fine. Everything seems to be fine here. Let's go and see what's happening and if manual is the only one or if they can self-enroll. So I'm going to log out, log in and see what's here. Now notice what's here. Only username and password, which means that anyone can log in if they have an account, but they cannot create an account. So I need to enable this. Let's go back and do just that. So this isn't enough. It does not allow you to create new accounts, which is what we want. So let's go back into site administration and we can actually write authentication in the search area. You can do that. You can search for anything actually, but we're going to go into plugins because I know where it is and it's a lot faster. So now I'm going to enable another feature that I disabled and that's self-registration email based self registration and then allow accounts with the same email. No, everything else is fine and scroll down and enable it. Now I can add captcha, but I'm not going to do that. I have a better idea. I'm going to make sure with an MFA, MFA that they authenticate by MFA which is multi-factor authentication. Going to do this through email. So let me set that up by unhiding it, opening it up. There we go. And then that's what I will have here. Notice here, user setup right now, user input. Let's um, check it out and see what's here. Enable factor, yes. Factor weight, yes. Duration, 30 minutes. Suspend, no. That seems just fine. Now let's try it once again. We're going to log out. I thought we logged out. We did, yes. Now log in and notice what's here. Is this your first time? This wasn't here before. Create an account. So this is how we create an account. We add the following information, username and notice eight characters and notice uh, what's here, uppercase, lowercase and so on. Password and then email address, email again, first name, last name, city or town is not required, country is not required and then create account. So let me do that now. Now you will get email notifications and you need to click on a link and then this is 
the page that you will get. So I'm logged in automatically. Now notice I did not finish the MFA. I set it up by email. That's true. But you need to scroll down and general MFA settings. Set this up. You don't want the debug unless you do, of course. And then I'm going to notice the factor. Everything is on. Going to save that. Now notice what happens now when I log in. I will try to log in with my username and password that's already there. Log in. And this is what I will get. Notice here I will need to add the code. So you'll go into your email and get the code. So let's do that now. I copied the code. Let me paste it. There it is. And I'm in, in seconds. And that's how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions about authentication by self-registration or any other question related to Moodle. Thank you.